ओके लेट्स गो फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी थ्री फ्रॉम अ पॉइंट पी लैमडा कॉमा लैमडा कॉमा लैमडा परपेंडिकुलर्स पी क्यू एंड पी आर आर ड्रॉन रेस्पेक्टिवली ऑन द लाइन्स वाई इक्वल्स एक्स कॉमा जेड इक्वल्स वन एंड वाई इक्वल्स माइनस एक्स कॉमा जेड इक्वल्स माइनस वन इफ पी इज सच दैट एंगल क्यू पी आर इज अ राइट एंगल then the possible value of lambda this is what we have to obtain so we can start it as two lines are given a point p from where perpendiculars are drawn such that angle qpr is also right angle correct so this is also right equation 1 equation 2 Fine. P is given to me. Lambda, comma lambda, comma lambda. Line one is given to me. X upon one equals y upon one equals z minus one upon zero. Say equal to k. So point Q can be taken as k comma k comma one. Similarly, other line is. This one say equal to m. From here we can get a general point say R minus m m minus one. PQ is perpendicular to line one means lambda minus k multiplied with one plus lambda minus k multiplied with one plus zero equal zero. Using the fact a one a two plus b one b two plus c one c two is zero, giving me k equals lambda. So point Q changes to lambda lambda one. This is clear. Next, P R is perpendicular to line number two means minus one multiplied with lambda plus m plus one multiplied with lambda minus m. Plus zero equals zero, giving me lambda cancelled out. M equals zero. M equals zero. So point R becomes zero zero minus one. Next constraint. PQ is perpendicular to PR. Means PQ. We can find the direction ratio as zero zero lambda minus one from these two. similarly direction ratios for pr we can obtain as lambda 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 plus 1 so using a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 equal 0 again for these two lines we get 0 plus 0 plus lambda square minus 1 equal 0 which gives lambda equals plus minus 1 Lambda equals plus minus one. Both are there in options, but when I take lambda equals one, I observe point P becomes one one one, point Q becomes one one one. Means P coincides with Q. Means it is lying on line one, so it should not be considered. So discarding one, we get lambda equals minus one. Lambda equals minus one. So only C is correct in this case. Let's move to next. That is forty fourth question. Okay, question number forty-four. Let x, y, and z be three vectors, each of magnitude root two, and the angle between each pair of them is pi by three. If a vector is a non-zero vector perpendicular to x vector and y cross z vector, while b is another non-zero vector such that it is perpendicular to y vector and z cross x vector then we have to conclude from four options so it is given to me that x y z are of same magnitude and angle between each pair is pi by 3 means x dot y is mod x mod y cos 60 that comes 1 similarly y dot z z dot x all are 1 fine now for options we require to find b dot z 
a dot y these terms before moving to these part we need to find a vector and b vector so let's find out a vector it is perpendicular to x and y cross z applying vector triple product x dot z that is 1 into y vector minus x dot y that is 1 into z vector similarly b vector is mu times another one given to me perpendicular to y and z cross x so this is equal to mu times z minus x clear now a dot y or b dot z or a dot b these are the three terms we need to obtain go for b dot z first taking dot product with it we obtain mu multiplied with z dot z that is 2 minus x dot z that is 1 so it's simply mu correct similarly a dot y that comes lambda fine b dot z multiplied with z minus x means mu multiplied with z minus x this is b this is clear a dot y that is lambda what is a vector lambda times y minus z so this is same d is false because it reads z minus y next c we require a dot b let's obtain a dot b lambda mu times y dot z that is 1 minus y dot x that is 1 minus z dot z that is 2 plus z dot x that is 1 so it comes minus lambda mu means minus of a dot y into b dot z which is correct so option c is also correct so a b c are correct for this question let's move to the next one okay question number 45 let f from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 to the set of real numbers be given by fx equals log sec x plus tan x whole cube then we have to check whether fx is odd or even fx is 1 1 or not fx is on 2 or not so let's start by checking odd or even so let's first find out f of minus x that is log sec x minus tan x whole cube when I multiply divide this term by sec x plus tan x, it becomes log 1 by sec x plus tan x whole cube means minus log sec x plus tan x whole cube or minus fx. So clearly the given function is an odd function. It is not even. Correct? Now we need to check 1 1 or not. So let's check out monotonicity of the function by taking its derivative. f dash x equals 3 log sec x plus tan x whole square into 1 upon sec x plus tan x into sec x tan x plus sec square x or we take sec x common we find sec x plus 10 x one term cancelled out we are simply left with 3 sec x multiplied with log sec x plus 10 x whole square which is positive for the given interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 because it's positive this whole square is positive so it is positive in minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 open interval means function is monotonic hence it is 1 1 since the function is monotonic 
we can see that either it will take maximum at first point or last point derivative is positive means it is increasing function increasing means like this minimum value at the first point maximum value at the last point approaching values because the interval is open now look at the term sec x plus tan x that is 1 plus sin x upon cos x as x approaches to pi by 2 from the left hand side this is 1 plus 1 upon 0 means it is approaching to infinity log of this term will approach towards infinity so we find that for this function the maximum value is approaching to plus infinity similarly from the minimum value point of view when we say x is approaching to minus pi by 2 from the right side it goes to 1 minus 1 upon cos minus pi by 2 plus h so it is going towards 0 form it is 0 by 0 on simplifying it goes to 0 it is approaching to 0 log 0 is approaching to minus infinity hence the range is r set of real numbers hence the function is on 2 as well let's go for the next question